Idalia moving through Florida and now pushing into Georgia. What it left behind in this area, heavy rain, standing water in some lower lying areas. Of course, we're in Gainesville, which is uh, removed from the coastline a bit along that coastline as the storm made landfall in the early morning hours. We saw a huge storm surge moving in, pushing water into areas it's not supposed to be, and severe wind damage in many of those areas as well. So a, a hard strike at the coastline, uh, but moving quickly and, and getting through the state, which is the good news, clearing up here, as you can see, in Gainesville. There was obviously concern. This is where the University of Florida is, so you've got 50,000 students and a huge faculty there. That camp is still locked down at this point. And we're starting to see some sun poke through the clouds, but we're going to continue to see rain and some gusting winds uh, throughout uh, the day here and into the evening. But again, this storm moving quickly and pushing through, but still a major concern, not only in Georgia, but it's going to continue up the eastern seaboard and into the Carolinas. That's the latest from here in Gainesville. I'm Jay Gray. Back to you now.